Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. Today is a new vehicle day. We have 126,000, nearly 127 grand to play with. Them creditos are stacked. And we are in the market for a truck. We're actually going to go for a truck. Now, we're going to go for one of the smaller of the trucks. So it's, a, it's the choice of like this one or this one. I think we also got the Scania. This is an option. Then is the Man. And they are the bigger trucks. And then we've got the uh, the American style one, the the Simu Games branded truck. That one. So we are going to go with this one because I think this looks a little bit like my <laughs> my Volvo, but it also looks a little bit like a Mercedes Actros. I'm not sure. What do you think this is? Is this a Volvo? Or is this a Mercedes? This looks like it's, uh, I think it's um, like an FH Classic. This hasn't got the sleep cab though, has it? Yeah, it has got. It's got a cab in there, so yeah, this might well be like my Volvo, or this might like be the Mercedes. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get this because we can do dump loads with it. We've got the large box on the back, so that's gonna be multiple stacks. Uh, and then we've got these that we can load with telehandlers. Telehandler loads, which is cool. Plus the regulars. Plus we can do some vehicle loads. So we may, we, we might stay away from these if we can. And then just take these other sort of loads. Because they're different. Um, so we need to purchase it. And it's going to cost, how much is it? A 43 grand for a truck. Mental. And we've still got 83 grand. We could actually go and buy another truck. I'm going to give it a paint job and then we'll uh, head out. So nothing too exciting. Still in the same vein as our, our, what we call our fleet colour. It's just a blue. It's a navy blue. But you know what? I did the first one blue, so they've all been blue. That's how, we, that's how we're rolling. Right, let's go get ourselves some new sort of jobs. And here we have it. Truck El Generico in the wild. So it was like inside. That's not too bad. Well, like that wheel. That's not the same as the others either. And uh, we've got it. Mm, what you say? It's, it's a bit tight, isn't it, in the back there for sleeping? I want a little bit more space. Again, it would be nice now that we're in them and we spent, you know, we spent a bit of time. It'd be nice if we could get some uh, internal customization as well. But so the game is four years old, so how much more they will add to it, I don't know. There's so much that they could add to this. There's so much they could. And as long as they didn't you know, like overcharge for it, people would pay for it as well. We like that. As long as it works, it's good. Can't lift my head up any further than that. I was trying to have a look at the uh, stuff up there. Anyway, shall we go find a job? We shall. Oh, no. First of all, we always need to go and get fuel, don't we? So we'll do that. Let's go get fuel. I don't know why I've uh, <laughs> set my set my sat there to take me next door, but I have. Look, the gas station's there. <laughs> Sounds all right. Again, I do recall people complaining that they all sound the same. Um, I don't think this sounds like the other trucks we had. It doesn't even sound like the uh, the rigid body. So it definitely sounds different. Can we see lights any better from here? Not really in this position, but we'll go with it. Let's turn left. Mustn't go in the out and out the in. That's what she said. <laughs> So why am I, the, the, the layout is weird. If I've got to come in that way, I need to be able to get to the pumps from that direction as well. Turn our engine off. Get ourselves some gas. It's the same price again, 175. Uh, 394 creditos of fuel. So next up, we need to go find ourselves somewhere to grab a job. 
and I'm thinking we'll test we'll test out what should we test out should we test out some basic logistics to start with I think you'll hear that has a bit of everything so we'll see what that one has to offer actually we'll see what that one now I have to leave I think this side no there's a telephone where's it are we going out the same way we came in because before it didn't like that because so I'm going out all the way over there yeah this this petrol pump needs to be moved over a bit if I've got to go in there and out this way that petrol pump needs to move in my opinion we've got all the mirrors I doubt I'll be using them <laughs> all the mirrors ship cross and this is where we're going to try and get a jobby so if I can I want to try and stay away from the big box one to start with I want to try something different please and thank you Yes, that's what we're talking about. Some telehandler jobbies. So, is that just putting the telehandler on there, do you think? That'll take us down. Then we've got choices down there. So we're going to go with that. Again, we spent a lot of time up here. So let's do a few jobs down here. We've got a multitude of drop-off points and pickups as well down here. So we'll take on this one. And that's about six grand. The prices don't really, I mean, 11, that'd be our most profitable job that we've ever done. But they don't seem to really go, that. they're all based, obviously, on weight, load, and distance. Well, they're in, because that and that are the same weight. So it's purely distance, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to do this one. So for this one, we've got ourselves a telehandler. How this is... Ooh. That's loud. How this is all going to work. <laughs> With uh, my side panel, I don't know. Well, that's tight. Just make sure I got there. So let's give it a practice, shall we? So up and down. That's still up and down. Okay. Got ya. So how ah, T. Do I have a different control for that then? If I Yep, there we go, it's on my wheel as well. So we've got our if you saw them, we had the green straps. So we get them lined up the best we can, I think. I should imagine like that it's going to do it for us anyway, but we'll, um... Nope. The same button to... Do I have to get right down? Ah, there we go. So it goes green. There we are, now we've got it. That is heavy. Should we have a look at it from outside? Oh, 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 big boy jobs. Look at that. Looks like that one a little, a little bit more leeway. Right. Big boy jobs. Let me pan it out a little. That's cool. I hope I can pull a thumbnail off it. That's why we're out of cab. I prefer to be in cab. I don't think in cab necessarily makes a good, a good thumbnail, though. Unless I go off and do some extra jobs, then I can grab shots then. Right. Oh. 
Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy. Easy. It's an all or nothing. There we go. So we unload it and it's on. He's back with a load of vehicle fire. Yeah. Let's bring that in. Tidy it up a little bit, maybe. No? Just wants me to uh, pack it up and back it up. There we go. So then, if we get in cab, start the engine. See where we're at. Get them controls. It's as complicated as you make it. Like life. So this is just going to hitch on. Hitch on on the top. Yes, let's see where it's going to go. On the low hitch. With a little bit of a bounce. So what does that look like from outside? Tell you what, that's not bad. So like that, I'll take that. Gonna have one of these. Have a little screenshot, why not? Right, let's get it going, shall we? Spent a lot of time, you know, jibber jabbering at the start sometimes. When we do the new truck ones, it's always a little while before we get going, because it's a new truck. See any traffic in there? We are still running on the uh, up two notches on traffic, so 12 to 14. I'm not quite sure what difference that really makes. I'm not seeing a massive difference. It goes up to like 24, I think, so. We could even try a little bit more traffic. Perhaps next time I'll up it a little bit more. On the road. Here we go. Just cruising through town. Getting in everyone's way. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright, that. Something different. A different way of loading as well, which is nice, because it's all been, you know, predominantly uh, forklift trucks. We've had the little uh, skid steers as well. I believe once we get to the the big dump trucks, it's wheel loaders. So we've got telehandlers, wheel loaders, skid steers, forklifts for loading. We have cars, vans, and widgets. We've got panel vans. And we've got our truck. We've got our box truck. I guess there is, there is there's, there's probably a more diverse choice of vehicles for a trucking game than any other. And that you can't complain about, I don't think. And so far, all the loaded vehicles work really well. Work really, really well. Better than some within the farming games and the construction games. <laughs> stuff like that. And so this is just, you know, well, it's not just, but it's a trucking game with loaded. It's trucking and logistics. But the fact that they've got them to work so well and, and, and relatively easy as well. It's pretty simple. Once you've grasped the controls, the controls are easy. I should imagine if I was playing on controller, it would be so simple. Although saying that, um, in watching Lips game, I know he struggled a little bit with the te with the uh, telly handlers. That 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 particular type of load. So maybe maybe not as easy. I definitely f the load feels different. That's for saying I, I will say that the, the vehicles all drive differently. They all feel differently to driving them. This is nothing like the pickup or the rigid or the minivan. The obviously is a little bit like the um, the box. 
but with us pulling the loads behind, it does feel different. I think in, in the way that we've done it, so we've done completely different vehicles each time. Oh, I was meant to come off there. Completely different vehicles each time. I think we've uh, been able to in, enjoy and notice those differences more. I wonder if... I'll come off up here. I need to try and loop around somehow. Miss my turn. So sheep's escaped. Oh, I don't think it's going to allow me a little loop around here either, is it? Unless, is there a gap? For those that make a mistake, is there a gap? There's not there. Well, maybe, maybe that was a gap for those that make a mistake. Well, I could have got through that. I'm going to have to go down the end, loop around and come back. This, this this may be a singular delivery because of the, uh, the amount of time it's going to take on this one. Let's have a look as we cross the bridge. So we've got, we've got extra traffic behind us. That is definitely uh, end of the world map over there, though, isn't it? It does need to have a little bit more of a map edge. That would be nice. All those times we've come across roundabouts. I'm not going to get one now, am I? We'll have to go uh, down on the right and then we'll go up on the left. That's how this will go. There's no one behind me, no one's travelling this quick. And I am sat in the middle of the road to avoid the traffic being an issue. There we go. Sat now has caught up with the plan, it knows what we're doing. Again, and then back across the bridge. Good job I did refuel. Because these new vehicles don't come in with much. Let's get it on. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. I think this week I'm going to try and bulk record these as well, just so that then I know what my schedule is looking like over the next sort of month or two, to see uh, what extra content I could squeeze in, where I could squeeze in, because we've got the um, member series running on FS22, oh you bugger, on FS22, and I'd like that to progress a lot further along before FS25. So if I get this or series to a point of where I'm happy for it to come to an end, and then I'll let you guys, when when we're when we're at the point where we've brought all the vehicles, I'll let you guys let me know if you want me to continue on, do some more. Um, but then that'll give me a chance to try and do a little bit more with the member stuff, or it'll give me some time maybe to do an extra stream or something. Because some series are all right. Uh, getting ahead on, like, I think this is a fine one to do with, I think my Starfield one, which not a lot of you watch anyway but to get ahead on that you know, that's that's two hours, so if I haven't got to do that in an evening, that's a stream if I haven't got that ahead on the schedule then that's a full night's recording for me, because it's a two hour recording, just trimming it to do any editing and, and then um, rendering it, see then it takes I'd say about a third of the time it is that the length is just like a good 45 minutes. So you, you're saying like three hours, three to four hours for a Starfield episode to be done. And then to get it uploaded, which it sort of does in the background while I do other things. But yeah, if I can free up that three or four hours, again, that leaves more time for other content each week. Uh, 
That's why I used to have so much pre pre uh, pre scheduled content because they, they, that's when I used to be able to get out a lot more content. I think sometimes it is nice to be able to uh, interact a little bit more and to uh, have fewer parties participate participation a bit more contained so that if you've, if you've watched it you can comment on it and then it'll take effect maybe the next episode or the episode after rather than saying something in the comments and then like not hearing it being addressed for a month it's just not always easy with uh, our home schedule and our <laughs> our lifestyle to uh, to be able to record and upload like the next day have an hour I, I, I definitely can't do that I'd miss way too many days if I recorded everything the day before it went out sometimes you'd probably be lucky if you got two episodes they'd never go out like on the same day each week that's for certain and I'm not the most Consistent of creators at the best of times. But we want, we want, we want something with it. Same as I need to get back to the um, snow runner. And I know it seems weird that we we could get a whole series of this in it before we do any more snow runner. It's just a little break away from it. Snow runner was breaking my heart by, by me by me rolling my trucks. It was not to do the game. It was me. And um, yeah, but we will get back to it. Don't worry. And again, it's not the most popular series, so sometimes it's the, the, the not most popular series that take the hit when I want to try something else, do something else. Same as um, NASCAR, we'll be back. I do have two recordings still to go out, but it's just taking a little break. In 2025, we should get a brand new NASCAR game as well, so I'd like to have at least my first career attempt on an older NASCAR to be uh, completed. Before we try and get on a new game. You can see some of my awesome, awesome large truck reverse as well now. If you've watched any of my ETS ATS, you'll know that I am a master at this. <laughs> To be fair, I don't think my reversal has been too bad in uh, in this game. I think it's a little bit easier. I don't know why. I think maybe the controls are a little bit more generous, or it lets you drop off a little bit more generous. Swing it that way now, apparently. Whoa! Oh, wait, 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 way too overcorrected. It takes it. See, it's so kind. It's so kind. Um, six and a half grand. What's the time? Shall we see if we can get one more quick one from someone? Do you have a short load from here? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what they got. Because money's not an issue. But time is. Time is everyone's most valuable commodity. And I think these don't need to be no more than about 30, 40 minutes. Certainly not. Uh, so, we'll go, we could go with, that's not very far, that one's a lot further, we could go with, with this, I, I'm assuming this is just moving the, the telehandler, I'm, assu I'm assuming that's what this is, so we're going to get that crack. Well, not only is it moving the cat, it might be moving two cats, there's another one there. I wonder if we've got to get them both on. I don't know, but it could be. Two JCBs. I've not called ICRs. Oh, the cat pulls are JCBs, aren't they? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Where's my wheels gone? Right. There we go. He 
It's the two. Oh, yeah. This is sweet. Okay. I know. I get excited way too easily. This is good. This is good. <laughs> it's different. It's different from everything else. Awesome. Where's my truck? Where's the uh, where's the load gone? Around the back? Or are we round? We're round the back. Excuse me while I have an inch. Ooh. Why did I park my truck up so far away from my load? Why did I do that? This is where we were, right? Yeah. It's cool. That's cool. I likes, I likes, I likes. We use our in cab. I never use it, we sit my head out of the window, don't I? We got dog. There we go. Connected. Let's have a little look at us. Have a little look at us. Oh yeah. That's awesome. We'll grab another one of those. Thank you very much. There's our way out. This is our way. So they're going up the road. Well worth it. So there's Boris. And coming through. That is pretty cool. Not a bad stack. Not a bad stack. Right. Indications. Give it a bit of wide berth. Hell of a load on the back there. Thank you, Mr. Skilder Driver. Definitely a Skilder Octavia estate there. I like it when we can recognise some of the vehicles. It's, that's the weird thing about the, the AI. Like they detect the corners as collisions and they do that. Sometimes if you get them up the mountain roads, they, they, they do that all the way around. I've been quite fortunate we've not seen a lot of that, but I've seen it in uh, in others' gameplay. I know it's a thing. So although they're not very good at detecting you and will drive into you, they, they don't drive into the environment. They definitely detect that. Go wide. I can't remember if we had um, I don't think we do. We don't have um, hazards or anything. It'd be nice to be able to put hazards on, beacons and stuff like that. Right, where are we going with it? Got a really annoying itch in my eyeball. It's not going to cause me any problems while I try to reverse park this, is it? Oh, we might be naughty. We might be naughty. We might be naughty. I think we can. We can be naughty. Where's our trailer? All the way around? It's all the way around, yep. Pretty much that'll do. Doesn't matter how long it takes or how many attempts to get it in there, as long as you get it in there and it's safe. So I'm told. And this game is quite generous on what it calls qualified parking, so. There we go. They consider that in there. And the achievement has just popped. We have earned over 250,000 creditos so far. 
and a quarter of a million. If only it was so easy. I am just going to pull away a little bit. But that is going to be it for this one. Another new vehicle, two deliveries in the bag, two unique deliveries as well, which is really cool. Uh, next time out, we will try and see some of the other telehandle loaded ones, and we'll see if we can get a, a small vehicle carrier and, uh, and load that up. That's what we're going to aim for next time. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos come live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.